Hi everyone, this is Abhinendra from CG Artist Academy and today I am back with a new quick tutorial about RealFlow 10 how to export Alembic MASH sequence from RealFlow 10 and import in Maya 2015 so this is my file RealFlow file okay uh, what I am going to do is create a new emitter which is square square meter and push it above oh, and now scale it like this push it more above and uh, we need gravity force also so we need a gravity switch off the visibility now and now if we simulate by pressing this button simulate so you can see my particles is coming up okay so let's stop it control a to reset your simulation okay now go to the domain you can select here particle type in 10 you have uh, more options like viscous viscoelastic rigid elastic granular more of these so I will be choosing viscous and Prichima basic uh, settings I'll be using so now if I reset again and simulate so now you can see now the particle are more viscous okay yeah so let it simulate first so my basic simulation is done now so if you go to the domain and export option over here okay so you will get this option export data you have to tick yes now click on this plus mark okay so you can see the details about it name and all here is the particle type what do you want to export okay so by default when you simulate with diverse so it caches the RPC file with the, which is the basic format of it okay so we have to export the alembic data so click on this yes maybe you if you want to you can switch it off okay now again we have to simulate the simulation particles so let's control a now it's reset now again we have to press a on your keyboard or you can click on this simulate so it's simulating again now let's complete the simulation again so again the particles are simulated so you can see on the timeline also see this okay so now in Maya you can import the particles uh, elemic particles also from the real flow but we are going to export mesh so let's start the mashing process select your domain go to this tab uh, mesh I'll be using particle VDB mashing process so click on that it's it takes the domain uh, domain already okay now right click on that and build mesh so you can see now we have a mesh if you want to see a mesh you have to press zero on your keyboard okay so it's very blobby let's select it I'm just applying the basic uh, settings over here so go to this tab filters mesh filters yes then again some mash it build you can see now what we have to do is smooth apply smooth filter go to this plus sign add a smooth filter and maybe two so our mesh will be more smooth now cool so you need a more detailed mesh you need to increase the particle we, i'm just let, telling you how to export your mesh so i'll be not simulating the high high res particles now okay so go to your first frame and click on this build mesh so it will simulate the mesh so our mashing is also done so you can see in the timeline we have our mesh now if you go select this particle mesh export option abc forward which is alembic is already checked on so now we have alembic export alembic mesh sequence now let's open maya 
and here we have a real float tab which you can if you can't see it you can see by going in windows setting in preferences plugin manager here you will find the real float plugin enable it refresh it and close so but here we are not going to use this because it, uh, we can import the bin sequence from the real flow plugin okay so what we are going to do is going to this this option pipeline cache alembic cache import alembic okay so click on that and go to your path which in case uh, my case is real flow real flow 10 alembic tooth mash and here is the here is the sequence okay so i'm going to import it open i can't see anything it's saying here is a mash let's import it again alembic cache import go to the last frame okay so here is the mash now but it doesn't take a sequence it only takes one file okay so we want a mash sequence like alembic sequence okay so let me delete this go to your real flow again select this maybe not uh, go to your tools here is an option a stitch alembic files click on that you can see here add files option go to your mash sequence select everything open it and select the specified path which i'm going to create now like alembic stitch okay so go to this folder rename it and save and click on stitch so it will start stitching your mesh <sighs> it will take some time it's done now so again go to your Maya pipeline cache alembic cache import now we have a folder so when we stitch from real flow it creates a single file but it has all, all the sequence okay so there is a mash now if you scrub your timeline you can have this you have a mash sequence in alembic now okay so this is how you can uh, simulate your scene and get a alembic sequence in maya from realflow 10 i hope you have gained some knowledge from this tutorial um, Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back very soon with a new tutorial or quick tips about 3D softwares, maybe Maya, Realflow, whatever. So till then, I subscribe my channel, like my videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.